It feels like every game matters a little more this year because we don't know how many each team is going to get. And we've got some serious tournament implications in a January 31st ball game. Alicia Washington with the ball in her hands has had the hot hand for Clemson in the last three games in particular. And Hannah Hank making the most of her third straight start. Their best win is probably the win over Florida State at home. They also beat Virginia Tech on the road. Those are great wins. And of course we know that Louisville win could have been the signature win of all signature wins for Wake Forest. And Evans' time really is what helped Louisville win that game late. This Wake Forest was right there, certainly had a chance, but the Deeks cannot live on moral victories, as Coach Hoover said in an article in the Winston-Salem newspaper recently. A three there. The steal, she takes it coast to coast, and the freshman, Jewel Spear, getting her feet behind the three-point line. Else, yes, Kelly Fear the Spear. Jewel Spear, I love her game, as Delisha Washington hits a nice little pull-up as well. Conzi looking for Ratza, the two former roommates connecting again. And timeout on the floor. Back in action in Winston-Salem off the inbounds. A timeout called by Amanda Butler results in two more points for Washington. A pass touched a couple of fingertips on its way over, finds its way to Washington. Shot up and good on cue. Michaela Hayes drops one in. Shot clock running down. Washington taking some contact from Spear. Doesn't matter. She's got six and Clemson's got the lead. 7-0 run by the Tigers to take the lead. Razzo wants it back for Wake. Aspect of the offensive game that you want in a four player. How about some rebounds? Let's throw that in there. She almost had that one. Instead, it is Gabby Elliott streaking her way down the court for Clemson and two more. And you're right, Jen, rebounding is going to be very important in this game. Wake Forest has rebounded the ball in their last two games very well. They out-rebounded Louisville. They out-rebounded Florida State. Coming so close to what would have been the biggest win in school history. But Wake bouncing back very well with that win against a good Florida State team. Washington, she's got eight in this quarter. She has been on an absolute tear. Her last three, she's averaging 22-plus. It feels like she is... Feeling that senior sense of urgency. Final minute of a first quarter that has seen both teams shoot the ball at an excellent clip. They're both right around 70% from the floor. And yeah, we called that game, and that game was very puzzling. I thought we were going to have a close one, and Georgia Tech just blew them out. Veronica Hip knocking down a three. Clemson needed that. Only having full practices on Wednesdays and Saturdays, the day before a game. On Tuesday and Friday, they do walkthroughs and they get some shooting in. On Mondays, they are off. Enough pressure by Clemson to affect her as she made her way in. Hip got around the corner, gets two more points. Great rebound rebounding advantage of Washington. Yeah, the Tigers, Kelly, really doing a good job on the glass so far. 10 to 3, the advantage rebounding for Clemson. She grabbed that rebound. She crossed over Kaya Harrison, finished with contact. That is a heck of a move from Delisha Washington. This is actually, some people might not realize this, Wake Forest is the second closest road trip in the ACC for the Tigers, besides Georgia Tech. That's a drivable road trip. Actually for both these teams that are kind of fighting for the same spot, and they're going to play again. So wins over each other are huge right now. They'll meet again on Valentine's Day as Spear. Seven for Spear, just two for Elliott, who you're right, really has not been a factor in the offensive end. Has spent some time on the bench as Mora goes strong to the basket. She hesitates for a second, and then she tries to hook around you and score with the left hand. And it is very effective. There's no doubt about it. Right to the basket and in, and the Tigers right back on top. Conti been working getting it in to Mora this time didn't get an easy look but she puts it away anyway with the left hand mentioned she likes to go two dribbles and she'll either hook around or she'll go left she loves to finish with her left hand know what we're going to get from Conti the biggest question about Wade heading into this season was who's the third piece and I would say it has been Mora and Jewel Spear has also been involved the spray you're okay with that three-pointer being a <laughs> high percentage shot other people, you might need to get a bit closer to the basket. And Spear, speaking of high percentage, 
She shoots a pretty good percentage on the season, getting into the heart of conference play, but she's even better than that in practice. Coach Hoover telling us that Spear hits at about 60% in practice, 50% from three. And another good drive there by Robinson. Something Jen Hoover had made a point to emphasize her team's been better at it, especially since that Georgia Tech game where she said she felt they were embarrassed. Tough drive and finish. 15 for Washington in the game. Conti did not inbound it this time. She gets it and gives it to Ratza for three. What a play. A play by Conti finding Ratza and then Ratza just stroking it. That was huge for Wake going into the half. Shot is good off the glass by Elliott as Clemson has just worked their way into the paint. I love the way Coach Butler told that story, that Butler came into her office as a freshman, or sorry, uh, Delisha came into Coach Butler's office as a freshman and said, Coach, I'm grown. You know, I wasn't right up in that play like the official was, so maybe something else, maybe there was a, a very clear hack or something of that nature. Yeah, thought we were gonna get jump ball, but we didn't. Instead, it's buckets on this end. Just one field goal attempt for Kendall Spray. It's going crazy, if she can hit multiple threes, that is a great sign for the Tigers. And what a move by Kendall. She's added that to her repertoire where she can take the one dribble inside and step back beyond the three-point line. And twos are stupid and should never <laughs> be taken. And you know how I feel about that, Jen. Yes, uh, pet peeve by the yes. one and only Kelly Graham. Like as Kendall Spray. It's interesting because Wake Forest has switched out of that zone and it's led to more open looks for Kendall Spray. Well, hands in her face on that one, Kelly. And Kendall Spray was huge in that upset of Syracuse. Had seven three-pointers in that game. And Scruggs says, hey, I can knock that down too. It may have been her most open look of the day, Jen. It just didn't fall. Looked like she was about to score her 11th straight point for Clemson on that one. Instead, Jules Spear. Grabs the momentum back for Wake Forest. Six a run off those back-to-back -back threes from Wake. Kayla Hayes, nothing but net now for Clemson. And you attack the best three and seven team in the country. They are a lot better than their record, but they got to start winning games if they want to make the tournament. So that's a huge game for the Hokies. And Delisha Washington just continues to score. Brata. Some contact and the bucket. Two more for Ivana Rata. It's been a good third quarter for Clemson. Both ends of the floor. Elliott just hounding Spear. There's that freshman oh. battle we were talking about. Spear wins that round. What a game so far, Jim. Both teams, both teams are shooting over 50% from the floor. You don't see that every day. No Delisha Washington in the game, so it looks like it'll be up to Gabby Elliott try to score in the ISO. And she does. What a play by the freshman. Away from the friendly confines of the duel. That is a tough slate. And Wake has benefited as Ivana Ratza knocks one down from beyond the arc. On the shot clock. Spray. Cherry. Pulls up and gets the points. Her first bucket of the game. They'd feel good about that, but in this game, Clemson shooting 56%. The way Clemson is making shots has put a lot of pressure on Wake to not make any mistakes. Spray. Did they get there quick enough? Big offensive Wake rebound. Even. Robinson makes them pay. Wake Forest has been very cold in this fourth quarter. Just one for five from the field. They've got to start making some shots soon, otherwise this game's going to get away from them. And there's Jewel Spear. Spear. And another one for the freshman. Her shot making has kept Wake Forest in this ball game, trailing by four. Let's see if she has some magic left in her. Spear on cue. New career high. The bench loving it. Clemson had their largest lead of the game. It was nine in this quarter, but the last nine points for Wake Forest have all gone to Spear. It's a 9-1 Demon Deacon run. 
A one-point lead, make it four as Kendall Spray knocks one down on this end. Two teams fighting hard for a much-needed win for both of them in the middle of the pack in the ACC, fighting to be a part of that 64-team NCAA tournament field. Mora open inside. What a pass from Rotsa. Always appreciated work of the crew here at Wake Forest with their cutouts and their creativity in the stands. Spray, what a big three out of that timeout to open up that lead to five for the Tigers. Wake Forest has Man a five advantage. on four <laughs> opportunity, yes. And they do take advantage. Spray from the corner. Under a minute to play, three-point lead for the Tigers. Rotza wanted the tie. Who did it go out off of? The officials look to each other for confirmation. It's going to stay here with Wake. Five now on the shot clock for Washington. She'll drive. Foul is called, and it is against Washington. Uh, she technically pushed off. That That is an interesting call. Conti, what a drive. That brings Wake within one. Got a little help from the rim on the first attempt. Friendly roll, friendly roll. Kendall Spray, even though she is a very good free throw shooter, she doesn't go to the line that much because she's not in the paint. She's not getting fouled. So she is a great shooter, and those were two big free throws. Conti. Drives, looking for the two. Tough to get those. Rebound, Clemson, timeout, Tigers. She's probably not gonna end up at the free throw line. First they have to get the ball in. What is the call? It's Wake Forest basketball. Very smart by Coach Butler. It's gonna take time off the clock as they are trying to put Wake Forest on the free throw line. And she's she's gonna choose not to foul here, kind of messing Spear with Wake Spear for the tie. I love that. Wow. What, what a strategy. Good.